Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just saw a troubling post on Facebook, and I'm hearing this story more and more. I live in Canada, as some of you may know, some of you may not. Uh, we have an extremely, or just an evil government here. I mean evil, satanic, really. Um, and uh, I'm seeing more and more now, again, getting back to what I talked about yesterday with the MAID program, which is Medical Assistance in Dying, which is the law here now in Canada. You can ask to have your life ended for whatever reason you want to end it, and, 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 and the, the government would, will, 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 will put you to death, basically. Um, they'll come to your house and put you to death in your home. You know, they won't do a house call for any other reason, but they'll do it for that, so there's where their priority is. Anyway, um, <clears throat> somebody posted on a group that I belong to on a Facebook page if they intend to ask for um, maid they intend to ask to be killed uh, because they are forty thousand dollars in debt and so they're, they're gonna ask that they be, they be taken out um, right now what's happening here because the cost of living has gotten so high and, and people don't have enough money. Even if you're working and making good money, you, you, you can't afford to live. So people are beginning now to use credit to buy food and fuel and, um, you know, heat their homes to pay their basic bills because they just can't bring in enough money to pay. And it's catching up with a lot of people. My own situation, I ended up $15,000 in debt, uh, partially because I got taken advantage of when I bought a truck so that I could continue with the business I had started when my van broke down, and partially because I was trying to heat an unheated, an, an, an uninsulated house, and it, it was costing me a fortune, and I didn't have the money. So even to keep the heat on at a minimal level so the pipes didn't freeze, I was buying oil on credit. A tank of oil would cost me $1,000, and it would last about six weeks at the most. That's with the thermostat turn right down. It's just high enough so the pipes didn't freeze. Um, I ended up $15,000 in debt. And then, of course, I lost my home. and I, I've told the story anyway, but the bottom line is this, um, there's a lot of people now going deep into debt and they can't face it, and so now they're turning to the government to have themselves terminated, and it, it's really, they were set up for this by the very government that they're turning to, to have themselves done away with, you know, to make an exit from this life. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I'm heartbroken. I'm truly heartbroken. I, I see this more and more in this country. I see the desperation of people. Um, now there's a lot of talk that the fires in Hawaii, uh, were, were set on purpose, and it's looking more and more like that's true. Um, they're now trying to take the land away. The insurance companies are in on it. It's The government's in on it. It's bad. They're trying to take the land away from the people. You know, get the people in a desperate situation. They're not helping the people. Really, the help that they're getting there is just coming from each other. Anyway, video size limit reach. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Lots of corruption. Too much. Too much corruption.